This is the bag that is given to each law enforcement officer that we've trained so far. Inside the bag first is the instructions for how to administer the Narcan. This is the actual four milligram Narcan nasal spray. Then we also have Miss Karina Thompson's business card. I love Columbus's front porches. And so we became the Porch Project, which is providing overdose reversal to give Columbus hope. Once we have all the law enforcement and first responders equipped, um, we are then going to move into the community. And uh, Karina here is going to be hosting uh, community meetings where we want to meet with families of addicts and we want to train them on Narcan and be able to equip them as well. Um, again, you go back to the story of the mother who has a son and, and if you change the script now, mom comes home, son's overdosing on the front porch, mom can administer Narcan and call 911. The uh, civilian would be on their back, they would use the Narcan they would just literally need to open it up and dispense it by placing it in the nasal cavity, wait for their uh, breathing to return. Um, it is possible that they may need to use multiple doses of Norcan. Um, so once their breathing returns, you flip the, the civilian on their side and put them in the recovery position until uh, EMS arrives. Time is everything in an overdose, everything. So if we can get one dose in and buy us a little bit of time, then the goal is always to get EMS there to render medical aid um, and to really assess that situation, but we need time first.